What's up everybody, Go Burns here, and this is officially the 100th upload on my gaming channel. That's right, the 100th episode video, whatever you want to call it, of Grand Theft Auto Online content that I've been doing daily for, what, about two months now? So, wow, two months so far, and I've got a couple subscribers, I've had uh, several thousand views, so all of you that have subscribed to my channel, and have left comments and likes and views. Thank you so much for all of that. That's really cool. And hopefully I will continue to grow. But today I decided since you know High Life has been out for a week now. And we have more things to look forward to. Hopefully. Like Heist in the very near future. Or some uh, holiday themed DLC. And other uh, fun from Rockstar for Grand Theft Auto Online. I wanted to compile a wish list of sorts, things I'd like to see added to Grand Theft Auto Online. Now the goal here is to keep players playing Grand Theft Auto Online because with each quarter that comes out since the official launch of GTA Online back in October of 2013, less and less people are playing Grand Theft Auto Online because there's more games out there. A few months ago Titanfall came out, uh, then uh, recently, what I think yesterday or today, Sometime this week, or next week, I think it came out already, uh, the new Wolfenstein game, and of course, next week, that's what I'm confused about. Next week, Watch Dogs officially comes out, and I'm pondering whether or not I want to get that game. I may, I may not. It depends on how well it's rated. If it gets a crappy rating, I'm not even going to bother, but, you know, video games are expensive, and they're an investment. Whenever I buy a video game, I like to spend a lot of time playing it just like I have with Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, the wish list here is to find ways to keep people continuing to play this game, the online version of Grand Theft Auto V, and of course, at the same time, for Rockstar to continue to make a profit off of Grand Theft Auto Online with uh, shark cards and, more specifically, giving us more things that we like to purchase within the game itself. Now, a moment ago we mentioned the High Life DLC. Rockstar has been talking about this upcoming holiday-themed DLC. Now, the problem is we don't know when or what it's going to be, but there's already been two missed opportunities for Rockstar. For one, St. Paddy's Day in March, and then last month with Easter. There could have been some cool DLC for both holidays, but both passed without anything from uh, Rockstar for Grand Theft Auto Online. But we do have some more holidays coming up. In fact, a few days from now, it'll be Memorial Day weekend here in the States. And in June 6th, it'll be D-Day. So both of those dates are key opportunities for Rockstar to shell out some more holiday-themed DLC. Now, I don't know if they're going to. I would like for them to do this, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, I guess the premise for this specific DLC, a Memorial slash D-Day DLC would obviously be revolved around World War II, World War I, etc. War themed, like uh, clothing, uniforms, weapons, for example, the M5 and the Luger, and fighter planes, like a World War I duster. You know, the duster that's in the game already, but with uh, cannons, that would be sweet. Maybe a, a military wrap of the RAF or the Army Air Corps. And I'd also like to see uh, maybe at least one World War II fighter plane to go along with that. Uh, either uh, something kind of like a Spitfire or a Mustang. If you're a fighter plane aficionado, you know what I'm talking about. That would be really sweet. Or perhaps even also a retro Jeep, a Mesa from World War II. That would be cool too. And additions to uh, the guns. Like, uh, you know how you can get uh, grip and scope and flashlights. What if we could also have bayonets? That would be awesome if they included that in, say... A Memorial Day or D-Day DLC and hopefully Rockstar will give us some surprises besides heist coming up in the very near future and of course the big holiday coming up here in the States in July there's actually two holiday ideas I have the first one of course is July 4th United States Independence Day American Independence Day or they could just call it Stars and Stripes and for this DLC it would revolve around uh, blue coats red coats green coats green coats of course were the loyalists you know, Continentals that fought for the uh, British Empire. Uh, the Bluecoats, of course, the uh, rebels at the time in the American Revolution. And everyone knows who the Redcoats are. So separate coats that you could purchase, uh, tricorn caps, wigs you could wear, or maybe in the hairstyle section you could put a wig on. Different masks, like a Liberty mask, a Uncle Sam mask, a Britannia mask, a King George the Third mask, maybe various presidents like President Washington, Thomas Jefferson, 
Franklin. He wasn't a president, but he was one of the founding fathers. Maybe something like that. And yes, cavalry sabers. I want some freaking swords. We'll talk about that in a little bit. The other DLC I have is actually a chance for Rockstar to make up for what was taken away from us in one of the first holiday-themed DLCs. Remember the one, the Christmas one, where we had Santa Claus masks, uh, snowmen, elves, reindeer, etc.? And that was all limited edition. We couldn't buy it, and we couldn't keep it. But what if, coming up in July, because a lot of countries in the Southern Hemisphere celebrate what they call Christmas in July. They decorate like how we do in the Northern Hemisphere. You know, during that time of month in July, you know, bring all that stuff back. The hats, the masks, the outfits that we had back in December. Allow us to purchase and keep them. See, that would be really sweet. You know, still running around wearing a... Uh, Santa mask. A lot of people would like that, I think, if they did kind of like a Christmas in July DLC. Plus, maybe one day they could bring back the uh, White Christmas where it was snowing. That would be fun, too. A couple items on my wish list that I personally would like to see besides holiday-themed DLC, because those are all the ideas I had. If you have any of your own, feel free and list them below in the comment section. I want a survival creator. And I know I've been preaching this for a while now. Because I love playing survival. I haven't done so in a while because there's only currently eight to choose from. There's supposed to be a ninth one coming up soon from Rockstar. At least that's what uh, one of their news wires recently said. But I would love the chance, the opportunity, and I'm sure a lot of other people that play survival would as well, to be able to create our own survival scenarios and have them verified and be rewarded. Like people that get rewarded for death matches and races and capture mode. But more importantly, I just want to be able to go in and say, all right, I want a survival mode where I'm fighting clowns or mimes or any other weird, wacky faction you can put up against you. And make it perhaps even more difficult than the uh, current ones or more silly, more ridiculous. I just want the ability to do survival creators. That would be awesome. Another wish list of mine is something I've been talking about for a while as well, if you've been following me. Clothing. That's right. Additional clothing options, specifically from Grand Theft Auto V Story Mode. Now, I'll say this. We have a lot of clothing options as is for online for both male and female characters. But at the same time, it never hurts to have more. And in real life, if you see somebody wearing a specific shirt or outfit, you can go to the store probably or go online and purchase the same item. doesn't matter how cheap or how expensive it is as long as you got the dollar signs. The pounds, the euros, whatever. Same thing should be in Grand Theft Auto Online. We should have clothing options that we can purchase that were worn by the main characters, secondary characters, as well as NPCs. Main characters, of course, is like Michael, Franklin, Trevor, Amanda, Tracy, others. You know, some of them are actually secondary, but you get the point. Main, secondary, NPCs like police, the sheriff, SWAT, noose, the mercs like um, Group 6, Merryweather, you get the idea. Military gear as well. Clown suits, lost, uh, you know, gang uh, jackets and vests, etc. Shirts, trans clothing, etc. All that cool stuff. All various options should be on the table when it comes to clothing and Grand Theft Auto Online. So definitely, we need more clothing and no more suit jackets. We have enough, Rockstar. We have way more than enough. And by the way, what was up with High Life anyways? All we could do was get outfits for male characters. Female characters got screwed. And not in a good way. Alright, some more things on my wish list. More stuff for us to do in free mode. I think a lot of people would agree about this. Uh, one of the things I would like to see is more vehicle options that were in story mode. Such as the Jetliners, the Blimp. For all of us that actually got the, uh, what the version that allowed you to you know, call up a blimp. We should be able to use that in GTA Online. The cargo plane, that big massive plane that we could fly around in story mode, and other vehicles as well. Those things should be available for us to purchase and use in Grand Theft Auto Online. I think it'll just add a little bit more fun. What would add even more fun, of course, would be a few more mini games for us to play, besides golf and tennis and one or two others, like pool, bowling, air hockey. Even the arcade games from previous Grand Theft Autos, that would be cool. Gambling at the casino, there's been a lot of rumors about that. Whether or not Rockstar is actually going to use the casino for uh, Grand Theft Auto Story Mode and Grand Theft Auto Online. That would be awesome if we had access to slots, Blackjack, Texas Hold'em, etc. That would be cool. 
And I think that we should actually have a gym option in our apartments where we could go and work on our stats, like a treadmill, a pool, you know, for um, working on stamina and lung capacity and maybe the weights for strength or maybe a, a, a boxer, you know, boxing bag. You get the idea. I think we need a gym in the apartments in order to go in and help with the stats. Because a lot of people don't really know much about that, but if you really take the time to jack up all those stats, they really do help you. They do make you have better stamina, they do make you stronger when you're fighting, and you can actually stay underwater longer. Speaking of water, here's one that I thought of that I thought was really cool. The idea of underwater crates and treasure chests, whatever you want to call them, as well as scuba gear included in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'd love to see this. So players could, you know, go explore the ocean without worrying about drowning, and there would be, you know, chests and crates that would randomly appear down at the bottom, similar to the crates they have now, but in the water, maybe worth a little bit more RP and a little bit more money. And another thing I'd like to have as an addition with the scuba gear and underwater crates and che treasure chests, whatever you want to call them, the spear gun. We need a spear gun when we're underwater, <laughs> mainly to deal with other players. And that would add uh, so much more fun to free mode in Grand Theft Auto Online because you can use the knife when you're underwater but it'd be sweet if you actually had a spear gun too that you could kind of customize and upgrade a little bit similar to the uh, other rifles and uh, pistols and shotguns in the game but you could only use the spear gun when you're in water now I just have this entire vision of underwater death matches, gang fights, players swimming around just killing each other with knives and spear guns. And you could also, at the same time, if you're above water and you see people below you, you could use grenades and sticky bombs like death charges. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. And speaking of weapons, I talked about this in a previous uh, mention on this wish list regarding uh, sabers or swords, katana blades, machetes, bladed melee weapons. I want a freaking blade, Rockstar. And I'm not the only one that wants a sword. I'm not the only one that wants a katana, a machete, whatever. I just want one or a couple different options. Make them stronger than, you know, your standard baseball bat or golf club or hammer or nightstick. I want a freaking blade, Rockstar. Please make it happen sooner or later. I know there's a machete in the uh, display case and the ammunitions. I just wish we actually had access to purchase it and use that, along with various other options. That would be so cool. And finally, this is another one that a lot of people would like to see implemented. And you can find this one in story mode too. Bringing wildlife and animals into Grand Theft Auto Online. At least the predators, to give us more of a challenge when we're out in the wild. Like cougars, boars, coyotes, dogs. Yes, because dogs also attack us. And, of course, the sharks. Another reason to have a spear gun when you're swimming around in the water. <laughs> and a hunting minigame, you know, kind of like the one Trevor has where, you know, he shoots animals and he takes photos of them and sends it to Cletus. It would be cool if Cletus was like a contact for you and you could go hunt in like a, maybe not a, in free mode, but make that a separate, I don't know, a separate mission type thing where you could go hunting for uh, coyotes. You have to kill ten coyotes or five cougars are a couple sharks in order to meet the challenge and get the RP and get the money from Cletus. That would be kind of cool if they had like a hunting option as well. So that is my wish list for my 100th episode on this gaming channel. And if you like some or all of my ideas, feel free and list them below in the comment section. And I will say this, I know for a fact I'm not the first person to come up with some of these. I won't be the last, but these are some of the ones I like. And I want to hear what you think. What are some of your ideas. What are some things that I may have not mentioned that you think should be on the wish list that Rockstar should consider implementing and adding to Grand Theft Auto Online to enhance the playing experience, to keep people interested in playing GTA Online? List it all below in the comments section. If you haven't done so already, go and check all my other uploads. Like I mentioned, and got 100 now. Plenty of time for you to go and watch all my Racing Badlies, my Tank Misadventure Mondays, some of my uh, survival episodes I've done, and more good stuff as well. And please subscribe to the channel by doing so. That helps me grow and encourages me to put out even more gaming uploads in the future. And I'm probably going to move on to other stuff eventually, but for a while now I'm going to continue playing Grand Theft Auto Online. I may start putting some Watch Dogs stuff up. I may put some other things as well. I'm definitely going to be doing uh, the new Batman when it comes out. I think sometime around October. I love Batman, by the way. And I may even do a thrown back uh, series in the future where I go back and play a previous game that happens to be 
in my collection. So that's something I'm pondering. I got a lot of ideas rattling upstairs, some good, some bad. <laughs> Anyways, as always, as I've mentioned 99 times before, and I'm going to mention it one more time, and as long as I continue to post uploads on this channel, thank you so much, as always, for watching.